and let's get right into it. So here you see me cutting the collar and then around pretty much where the head was. So halibut's a flatfish. So a flat, the way you break down a flatfish is different than you break down a round fish. So as you can see, I'm cutting it right down the center. Um, you know, and this is this is how the halibut would sit on the floor of the ocean. Okay, so right now I'm just making a surgical cut, just kind of like, you know, to get through the thick skin. So an, an incision straight down, a nice clean cut. And uh, basically from here, I'll start to work this fillet and get this fillet off. Um, as you can see, I'm like, I think it's really important. The reason why I'm making this video is because I want to show that you can break down a fish, uh, you know, you know, in less than five minutes. But I think the biggest mistake that people make is, um, you know, the sanitation with breaking down a fish, right? So you want to make sure the board is clean. You want to make sure your knives are clean. You want to make sure your hands are clean. You want to make sure everything is super clean. The fish is rinsed off and clean. Um, there's no yuck on the, on the outside of the fish. And then you'll end up with a really good product. So here I'm just taking off this first fillet. And as you can see, <clears throat> this fillet is, su I mean, this fish is very nice. It comes from food and season. They do a really good job of uh, procuring the best fish. All right, so here I go. I'm taking off the second fillet. And as you can see, I just cut through those belly bones right there. Um, usually I don't use that knife. I use my other knife, but um, I just, I went, they weren't that bad. So I just went through it. But you you want to make sure where the, it's close to the head, where the where the guts are, you cut those belly bones or else it will mess up your fillet. All right, so I'm cut, going through here. And as you can see, that's the reason why I made that surgical cut in the beginning is so that way I could take the fillet off super nice. All right, so from here, I'm going to flip the fish over. Oh, first I'm going to cut off the head. So I'm sorry, the collar. So basically, uh, this will make it easier for the fillet to come off. But listen, don't throw this part away. This part's really good. Um, for, for my application, I'm not going to use this or any of the trim, but um, just showing you. Um, also, shout out, listen, these uh, blue paper towels, they're kind of expensive, but I really like using them because, uh, you know, they're single use. You can throw them away, but they're super heavy duty. So um, maybe I can link a link something to, so you could get those, but those are basically white balls and they're just really, really durable. And I like using them with fish because I can throw them away and I don't have to worry about like them coming back smelling fishy, <laughs> like with regular towels. All right. So if you could see, I, I cut the collar. So I'm able to uh, get these fillets really nice and clean. Now you can notice the, the bottom of the fish is white. And um, again, I'm just going through, I'm just I'm pointing right now to show you the line that I'm going to cut. Um, a lot of people make a mistake with with uh, with flatfish, and basically what you want to do is you want to cut right where the line is. You can see I'm about to show you right now. So, boom, right down, and this is where the spinal cord is, and you basically just follow the knife all the way down. Now, when you get to the top part, you will notice that there will be some additional bones. This is um, where the belly is, uh, where the guts are stored. So you just have to be careful to navigate around those. But other than that. You know, breaking down a flatfish is really easy. I just think it's really important when, uh, you know, you have a really big fish or you have multiple fish that take the time and break it down properly and make sure your area is clean and sanitized. Because I can't tell you enough where, you know, I go to a grocery store and you smell fish <clears throat> that shouldn't smell, but ultimately it's because how it's handled. So, um, you know, for me, it's it's crazy because one, I... I one, I get the best fish that's absolutely possible. And then if you take care of it, it will last you a really long time. Um, so a good example is like this halibut I received. I mean, I almost had a, you know, seven to 10 day shelf life on this, like still pristine. And it's because I took care of it from start to finish. Anyway, here we go. So you can see as I'm cutting off this um, bottom fillet, super easy, right? And then just to make sure I cut off any other fins that are left or any things that aren't edible. Boom. That's it, man. You know, that was under five minutes, you know, but like, it's a good job. And then from there, I always, after I'm finished with that part, I always clean and sanitize the board. I don't have to, I don't sanitize it. I just hit it with really hot water. And then uh, basically before I start the filleting and portion process, right? Cause this is where also people mess up, right? So the skin, you know, the outside of the skin, you want to try to keep it like, you want to give it a good clean, 
right? And that way, when you're portioning your fillets, you know, it's not touching, you know, the part on the board. It's not like contam- the skin is not contaminating the actual edible flesh. So I do the same thing with salmon. I do the same thing with any type of fish. Like make sure the skin is clean. Now, you don't have to, you don't have to scrub it. But basically what I do is I take a paper towel under cold water. I, re- I really, really get in there and then I make sure it's dry. That way that taste does not transfer over to this beautiful fillet that I have. All right, with that, I'm just going to let, I'm going to um, sign off here, but I want to tell my chefs out there, check out how I'm doing this. All right. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.